Buonasera, mi amici. Buonasera. My name is George Latimer. Don't let Latimer fool you. The great grandfather was Donato Meniro from Benevento. And, and I'm very proud. I'm very proud to be here to celebrate with my colleagues in Westchester County government Italian Heritage Month. And we're going to be doing that uh, with a little ceremony down here on our plaza, out on Martine Avenue. And then we're going to go upstairs to have a little food. What would an event be without an Italian uh, feast? And we're very happy to keep the remarks short, short and sweet, and upstairs uh, as fast as we can. Let me recognize, first of all, that we're joined by uh, a number of people from Westchester County government uh, who serve us in very substantial roles. We have an uh, elected member of the Westchester County Board of Legislators, the Minority Leader, Margaret Kunzio. And we also have represented here our friend, uh, County Legislator David Tubiolo, who is represented here by Ken Switzer. David has uh, joined up the Military Reserve. He's right now in Fort Benning, so he sent Ken to be on his behalf. He's a young man, an elected legislator, and he's making a service to this country, and we're greatly proud of that. I want to recognize our great uh, Westchester County Clerk. Uh, he has served us brilliantly for an extended period of time. Uh, this is his fifth term, and he's revolutionized the job, and he's half Italian also, Tim Idoni. <laughs> Tim and I have the reverse. He has an Italian father, I have an Irish father, an Italian mother, Irish mother, but nonetheless, he's done a great job. <laughs> we also have with us our county attorney, John Nona. John. And I was at a, a, an event for the Italian American Forum a couple of weeks ago where John got up and he talked about his father, who was a member of the Italian Navy during World War II. He had a couple of boats shot out from under him, but he survived, came to America, met his mother, and the rest is history. And uh, John, great history, and we're very happy that he's with us in the capacity he is. We also have with us Ron Tochi, who's director of our Veteran Services Program. Ron has served us in public office as a county legislator, as a state assemblyman, uh, and, and he's been a, a wonderful leader in county government, in the state government, and a very proud Italian-American. Another round of applause for Ron. Uh, I'm joined by my deputy county executive, Ken Jenkins, who is also Italian-American. Ken? He always reminds me that, that the people in Sicily are Africans who can swim across the Mediterranean Sea. For the Sicilians amongst us. Um, I also know that we have other commissioners that are with us. Lisa Denig, who's our Commissioner of uh, Human Resources, is with us today. Lisa, thank you. As we just pointed out, she tells me she's not Italian-American. She married an Italian-American. That's the next best thing you can do. So, and do I have any other my other commissioners that I haven't spotted or seen yet? that need to be identified. We have uh, with us Melissa Rattini from, uh, I guess, uh, Deputy Commissioner of the Department of Environmental Facilities is here, Melissa. And our Director of Communications, the person who puts on these shows, Catherine Chaffee. And on her team, Deputy Commissioner of, uh, Deputy um, <laughs> Director of Communications, Carolyn Fortino. And also with us, one of our communications managers, Tony Fasciano. If you're watching a trend here, yeah. Joe Scamato is not here. We have Chelsea Pagano who is here. She's on the communications team. We Italian-Americans communicate very well. But we have, we have John Borst here who married an Italian-American. He does the video work for us. John, thank you. I want to make sure that uh, we, we get to uh, our friends who are here with us from the Italian-American community. So without any further uh, delay, let me introduce Lucretia Lindia, who's the board of directors for IHCC New York and the national president of the National Italian Honor Society. She can say it in Italian. Lucretia, please. Oh, there we go. Please. <laughs> Benvenuti e buonasera a tutti. My name is Lucrezia Lindia, and I am I, and I teach at Westchester Community College and at Manhattan Vid College. And for the past 11 years, I have been the national president of the National Italian um, Honor Society, which is called Societa Honoraria Italica. 
All of you know Carlos Glafani. I took over his job, actually, okay, but at the national level. In addition, I am on the board of the directors of the Italian Heritage and Cultural Committee in New York. And because our president, Joseph Shame, cannot be here with us tonight, Nancy Delicato and I will represent the, our organization. For the 47th annual celebration of Italian Heritage and Culture Committee, and for the celebration of the uh, month of the Italian Heritage, the Board of Directors of the Italian Heritage um, Cultural Committee of New York, in collaboration with the Società Onoraria Italica, organized the annual essay contest uh, this contest is uh, done by all the high school students in the tri-state area. And this year's theme was the joys of learning the language. The joys of learning Italian. In Italian we say, che gioia, imparare l'italiano. Many schools participated in this contest. And I would like to mention some schools because one of the winners is a local one. In the Italian category was selected Luca Cardin, an 11th grader at Fairfield Ledwell High School in Fairfield County. In the English category, the committee chose Sofia Perez, a 9th grader at Preston High School in the Bronx. The second runner-up is Leonora Hutai, a 10th grader from Maria Regina High School in Westchester County. This, the essay was submitted by her teacher, Laura Ponziani. She will be honored in, um, at Eastchester High School the 25th of this month. Congratulazioni ai vincitori. And at this time, I'm going to call Nancy Delicato to help me present the poster to our wonderful counter executive, George Larryman and say a few words. Please come. So first, I just want to say a few words, a few remarks about our theme. I feel the joy here tonight. So it really fits in with the theme of the joys of learning Italian. And we all know that it begins with being in a classroom with enthusiastic students and inspiring teachers, where we learn to love the most romantic and lyrical language in the world. But it, is, it brings us beyond that. It really opens us for us centuries of Italian heritage and culture. It enables us to appreciate the Italian literature, the Italian performances, live performances, the opera, contemporary music, TV, films. It enables us to really have great experiences and make new friends and lasting memories through our travels to Italy. It also, more importantly, lets us research our roots. One wonderful moment for me was sitting in a small city hall in a small village called Shocker in southwestern Sicily. And in my hands were the birth certificates of my four grandparents, and thus started my genealogy. It brings us the Italian spirit and makes us part of that. And it makes all of you part of that this evening. And thank you for being here, and thank you for allowing us to join you in that spirit. Step out in front here okay, to do George, the poster. Yes. Okay. John Noda, Ron Tochi, Melissa Rotini, the rest of uh, Tim Idoni, Margaret Cunzio, Ken Jenkins. We all accept this together. Next up, we have the romantic tenor, Teo Ricciardella, who's going to lead us in the U.S. National Anthem and the Italian National Anthem. And I want to cue, we have to do this pretty obviously here, 
I want to cue my friends in the DPW that after we finish the American national anthem, we will then raise the Italian flag while Teo leads us in the Italian national anthem, of which the only thing I know is the last note, C. Si! That much I know. <laughs> Mr. Richelieu, thank you. Thank you for being here. Pleasure. Okay. I like to sing first the Italian national anthem because it's the honorary country, and then followed by the American national anthem. Is that okay? Fine yes. with us. Fratelli d'Italia, l'Italia sedesta dell'elmo di Scipio, se cinta la testa dove la vittoria le porga la chioma che schiava di Roma e Dio la creò. Fratelli d'Italia, l'Italia sedesta e l'elmo di Scipio se cinta la testa dove la vittoria le porga la chioma che schiava di Roma e Dio la creò. Stringiamoci a corte, siamo pronti alla morte, siamo pronti alla morte, l'Italia che amò. Stringiamoci a corte, siamo pronti alla morte, siamo pronti alla morte, l'Italia che amò. Sì! Grazie. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight All oh, the ramparts we watch Were so gallantly streaming And the rockets red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave. O'er the land hemmed up the free And the home of the brave. Thank you. My God, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bravo, bravo. Teo Ricciardella. The romantic tenor. If any of you need a romantic tenor, look him up. You've just heard how beautifully he does. I'm told he knows the French national anthem, the Canadian national anthem. He's got a few more in his belt. Grazie, Teo, grazie. Thank you very much. Uh, we are going to now go inside for our um, 
indoor portion of it, which will involve uh, uh, very little talking and a lot of eating. So uh, are we going to take our friends through the Court Street side, or are we going to take the short, less attractive view? Through the, we have to go through the, uh, the Court Street side. Very good. Then uh, I'm going to ask uh, Ron and some of our other friends who know the way around, John Nona, will you lead the contingent out and up, and we'll see you upstairs on the ninth floor. Thank you.